More than 1,700 firefighters from across the nation in the Wood River Valley. Many have been up there for about two weeks now. Our Eric Fink introduces us to two of them with very different backgrounds, but the same drive to fight the flames. Zach Thomas and Ralph Stott both finish up their 12th straight day on these fire lines. It's Tuesday, right? Yeah, you lose track. Neither has slept in their own bed in three weeks. But underneath their tired faces, growing beards, and dirty fire gear, both firefighters share an endless passion for their job. Even the, the routine everyday calls that you go on, the same little old lady that's fallen down for the 10th time during the day, it's still, you, you make new friends, get to meet a lot of neat people, and it's been fun, been a lot of fun. All those guys are my brothers, so, you know, it's like another family, and you build this brotherhood with the people you're with, because you're with them for so long, you, have, you really have no other choice. At 22, Zach's firefighting blood runs deep in the familial pipeline. Growing up as a little boy, there was nothing Zach wanted to do more than ride shotgun in a fire truck. His grandfather put in 22 years in Arkansas, his father more than a decade. And now, three years in professionally himself, Zach is following in his hero's footsteps. And Ralph, a grandpa and 24-year veteran based near Salt Lake City, sets an example for the young fleet. It's always had that inkling to want to help people, and it's been a great career to be able to do that. I feel like you make a difference in someone's life. The commitment to their chosen profession only grows stronger with age, and each new experience that next call brings. I feel like adrenaline, and this is a, it's a good profession to follow. It's the best job in the world. In Ketchum, Eric Fink, on your side. Well, today, the National Interagency Fire Center in